everyone, this is Archangeli. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new and you're just tuning in for the first time, welcome. And if you're one of my previous subscribers, thanks for uh, sticking with me and tuning in again. Today I have something really exciting to share with you guys, something new, something very special. It's the new Dolphy Dream Sailor Moon doll that was just released last December by Volks at the Dolpa 38 in Tokyo. And mine literally arrived on my, actually don't even get me started, I had to go to the post office to pick this up. But I picked it up yesterday and we're going to do a box opening today. Um, yeah, dreaded yellow sticker, which means I did have to pay customs on this. Uh, I kept the invoice. I dropped the invoice. Sorry, I'm still here. Um, yeah, I had to pay $117.88 on top of the retail price of this doll just to get this in the house. But, you know, this is part of the... Part of the fun of owning dolls is sometimes you have to pay tax and sometimes things slide through. So let's open this girl and have a look at everything. Um, so this is the Dolphy Dream sister and what I mean by that is that it's um, the sister is just one of their types of bodies that Volks does. It's a little bit shorter than um, the regular Dolphy Dream size. So it's a Dolphy Dream Sailor Moon and we all thought, well, we in the community thought this would hopefully be a pre-order project, but it actually turned out to be um, a lottery doll. And so last December at Dalpa was when the attendees were able to pick her up. And then in January, they had the online lottery system. And um, I had a really unusual experience, actually. I filled in the lottery, got a confirmation. And usually a couple days later, they will, uh, Volks will send you an email saying, congratulations, you've won. And then later they send you another notification to tell you that they're shipping. So I never got a congratulations email. I just got an email roughly around the time when they were announcing the winners saying, thanks, we've processed your payment. Thanks for the smooth transaction. And I was like, well, what does that mean? So they took my money, but they never told me if I won or not. And so I wasn't actually sure that I won this doll until they sent me a shipping email with a tracking number. So I guess I did win because I have her, um, but I didn't tell anyone that I won because I actually wasn't sure myself. Um, so inside is an invoice and Sailor Moon was 70,000 Japanese yen. That was her retail price. Um, I'm not even gonna go talking about how much she's selling for on eBay or Yahoo Japan auctions right now, but her retail price was 70,000 yen. If you wanna pay more than that, um, that's on you. So. Inside the shipping box, she's nicely bubble wrapped. And we're gonna pull this out. Actually, I don't even need to. Um, I can probably just carefully, if I tilt this, you can kind of see what I'm doing. Cut the bubble, or cut the tape on the bubble wrap. And that's just protecting the box. And if I pull on the plastic, you can see what I'm doing here. Oh, for heaven's sake. We're just gonna do a dump. She doesn't want to come out, guys. Come on. Here she is. Okay, let's get rid of that. My cat will probably jump in the box in a little bit. And so here is the box. So she's in one of these special slider boxes, like the last time I did a video, we talked about these special slider boxes. And it's like a frosted silver finish. And if I slide this out, oh, she's not even looking. How nice. All right, let's just slide that off. If you're curious, there's really nothing else on the back. There's a little label here, and there's a cutout of the Volks logo here, which is a nice little detail. I don't think they've done that before. Or if they did, um, I didn't pay attention. So if you want to have first peek of her in the plastic here. And I think when I commented about this last time, someone told me that when they, that Volk started doing the Miku dolls is when they started putting these little hooks. So here's, she's got the little hooks instead of just the tie ribbon. And I'm going to set the doll aside for a moment and we'll have a look and see what else is in the box after I've taken that out. So we're gonna lift this out. And here is her booklet. Oh look, they 
they've switched to Ziploc. Sorry, little things like this entertain me. And her wig, her boots, her outfit with lots of gloves. An interesting pile of hands. That's nice that she comes with them actually. If you're a first time doll owner, um, that's kind of handy that she comes with different optional hand parts so that you don't need to um, spend more money just to get the doll to, to be displayed the way you want. So taped to the outside of this box are her little pins for her earrings. And let's have a look in here, see what's going on in this little box. Oh, be careful, her tiara is not actually in the box, so that's in the back there, and all these pieces. So I feel like they wanted the tiara to fit up here, but it didn't. But this has her wand, her brooch, the other pieces of her earrings, and the, I don't know, the hubcaps that go in her well, dongle, in her hair buns. All right, so I'm gonna put this aside. I'm gonna have a quick look at the instruction booklet and then we can get her dressed. So I've laid everything out on the table so you can see everything that comes in her box except for the wig. Um, this way I can talk about some of the different items before we get her dressed. So this is the her sailor outfit and I was a bit surprised actually it is a one piece so she doesn't come with her own separate underwear but if you think about you know the Sailor Moon transformation scene her outfit starts off like a swimsuit and then the collar and the skirt appears so I guess it does make sense the way that this was um, created and then the collar on her outfit comes off with little snaps and one thing that made me laugh on the inside they've padded her boob area so that you don't get any um, headlights sticking up in the front because the body that the Sailor Moon doll comes on is the medium bust um, actually all of the Volks dolls do have pointy nipples but this is the medium bust and I guess maybe Bandai or the uh, the company decided they, they wanted a more PG look. Uh, she comes with seven hands so the two that are on the body and then the five that were in that extra bundle so she also comes with seven gloves to go with the seven hands. One thing I want to point out actually the hands that come on the default body are the what in we call in the Dolphy Dream community the original size hands so they're actually smaller if you were to compare them to let's say the piece size hands, like just look at the size of the fingers. This is a much bigger hand. It's a more dynamic and more accurate sculpt. And it's actually size wise, more uh, size appropriate to proportion to her head. But some people still prefer the original size hands because they're more small and dainty. But I just thought that it was an interesting um, thing that they would throw in big hands to go with small hands on the doll. Uh, this is the bow that goes on her dress, the bow that goes on the back of her dress her choker, and like I mentioned earlier, the stuff that's in the box. So there's obviously the wand, her tiara. This looks like it was um, manufactured after they designed the packaging for the box because it doesn't fit in here. Not that that really matters. And then the hubcaps for the her hairdo. I don't know what the proper names for these are. I just call them the hubcaps because that's what they remind me of. The collar that, or sorry, the brooch that goes on the bow on her chest. This is the heart for her choker. Uh, these little moons go on her boots and then these are the dangly bits for her earrings. If you've never owned a Dolphy Dream before, any of the dolls that do come with optional earrings, so like Rise Kujikawa comes to mind from Persona, um, Sakuya from uh, Shining Wind, the, from the Tony Taka artwork, they don't come with their heads uh, pierced. So you need a pin vise uh, or some other um, pointy thing to be able to pierce the ear yourself. So in the direction manual, they do tell, show you how to do that. And I'm gonna borrow my friend's pin vise, so I won't be putting in her earrings today. Um, but I will dress her up for you guys so you can have a look uh, at how she is fully assembled. And this is just the instruction pamphlet. All right, so let's get her dressed. So before I dress her, I just wanted to show you a close up of her face. Volks has done a really lovely job with her. She has these lovely dark blonde eyebrows, really nice eye makeup, and the cheeks have the little line, the blush lines. Uh, it's, she's just really cute. 
If anyone is curious, this is head sculpt number 128, and she was sculpted by Serika Misaki. During the cut, I installed the Cool Cat aluminum reinforcements in her hips and her shoulders. If you haven't seen me do that before, if you don't know what they are, go to my Cheryl Gnome unboxing video. I'll leave a link below and you can check those out. Um, they're just kind of a good thing to, well, to install while you have the doll uh, undressed. So I'll start with this, the uh, sailor outfit first. And because this is a one piece, we're going to have to start from the bottom. And, you know, don't you get dressed like this, you know, with the funny pose. Um, this actually goes on pretty well. It's very easy. And let's get her arms in. One thing I want to correct, uh, I said that she came with five of the um, big hands and two of the small hands. Uh, I was wrong. The, the hands that she has to hold her wand, her grabbing hands, are actually the small size. It's just the three, so like the L, the peace sign, and the I love you. Those are the big hands. Now, okay, this is a bit tight. So this fabric has almost no stretch to it. So you've got to just gently give it a tug. But I do appreciate the padding that they put on the bust. It gives her a nice modest look. And we'll do up the snaps in the back. And the inside is um, mostly white. There's, if I turn this around, you can see a tiny bit of the blue stitching from the skirt there which might be a bit of a stain risk. Uh, you can always line the inside of the skirt with some tape or a little body stocking if you want, but it's not absolutely necessary. Oh, whoops, we're caught on her shoulder there. All right, so that's the outfit and that does up with very little give. So you would not be able to put this on the large bus body at all. You might be able to, if you actually wanted to downsize and put the small bust on, um, it would fit. So then we just snap the little sailor collar on. This is actually really, really nicely thought out. And then we can put the bow. This also attaches with little snaps and it's a really nice soft satin fabric it's got a nice feel to it. it's almost it's very silky actually it feels like silk I don't know if it is or not um, next we'll do her choker so it just comes with the little ribbon it is white lined with tiny little red dots there and that's unavoidable because how they've um, decided to attach the heart on her choker is with a little loop of thread. So, whoops, now I've just gone and knocked everything over. Good job, Patty. So that's the boot piece, earring. I need the little heart piece. I'll just leave this here so I don't knock it all over again. And this has a little tiny loop in the back and it just slides over the thread. So this is super, oh, I think I've done this upside down. Ha, whoops. This is really finicky and it's quite fragile. So be careful with it. And oh gosh, I just, there we go. I got it off. I was worried I might snap the thread off. Um, but because it is just a thread, if it does come loose, it's fairly easy to repair. But of course, it's a brand new doll. You'd rather not have to repair anything from the start. So there you go. That's the choker. And we'll put that on. It might actually be easy if I... I might have to pop her head off. Let's see how they've done this. It's okay. There we go. I got... There, that's the choker. Got that on. Oh, she's starting to come together, guys. She's so cute. And let's do the boots next. So these typical Volks boots, um, they do up with a zipper in the back. They are white lined except for the red zipper. So if you are worried about the zipper staining, 
I would suggest maybe getting some little white uh, knee-high socks to go underneath or you could just take um, some tape and put some tape along the back of her leg to prevent the red from the zipper from touching the doll and for now just for the sake of dressing her I won't I'm not gonna put anything um, before I put the boots on let's put the little moon charm so again it's a similar design as the heart on her choker this has this tiny little doodad in the back and it slips over a little piece of ribbon in the front of the boot so that just slides on like that this is her right foot if you're ever unsure just look at the bottom you can easily differentiate between right and left on her boots so this goes on this foot and I'm being mindful not to drop the little moon charm off of the boot there um, there we go so that's one boot and this one oh this one I left the stuffing in so when you take it out of the plastic um, there's tissue stuffed in the boot to hold the shape and if you look straight down in the boot you can see the Volks logo I don't know if you can see that on the camera but they do put their logo on the inside of the shoe, which is, you know, a nice little detail. Come here. Okay, so the other little moon charm goes on the front of the boot. Oh, this one is, the ribbon loop is much tighter. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. Just got that one off. And then we'll put her little boot on. So while I'm doing this, if you're wondering about the dolls that I have next to me, uh, the one closest to me, this one is, I call her Serena. This is Yuki Morikawa. And she's showing off the cute uh, heart hands that Volks has released. And next to her is the Danny Chu Smart Doll Mirai. Uh, who I've customized a little bit. I've changed her eyes, put some eyelashes, and she's wearing obviously a different wig. So I just broke something. The little moon charm on the front of her boot, on her left boot, which where I said the ribbon was a little tighter, it's completely come off the little hook. So the hook is still in the loop, but the moon charm has come off. Um, this is something that can be pretty easily fixed with a bit of super glue, but it's still a bit annoying that this broke literally five minutes straight out of the box but I'm gonna put this aside and I'll fix that later but just be aware and be careful when you're putting this on your doll ah, folks quality control guys um, but let's put the little bow on the back of her skirt and let's see which glove shall we use I guess we'll use uh, I'll put several pairs of gloves on, but before I do that, let me just talk about uh, an optional item that you can purchase the next time you do a Volks order. Um, these are the wrists that do a full 360 rotation. So what, what am I talking about? Um, let's take these out quickly. If you pop the hand on here, hello, let's do this this way. Of course, I picked the tightest possible. Let's try a different hand. The peace sign hands tend to be the smallest at the base, so you may need a blow dryer to um, get that on. So I'm using the I love you hands. There we go, that one easily. So this does a full 360 rotation. And, <clears throat> excuse me, that actually makes it much easier for posing because, you know, you get the swivel this way, um, but then you can also turn the joint and then swivel this way. So if you're doing a Volks order, this might be something you want to pick up. Uh, if Volks is out of stock, Cool Cat also makes um, their own version of these. The only difference is the peg is a little longer and you may need to sand the plastic part of it. So just so you know that you can get these. Um, I'm going to put some gloves on and I'll be right back. Okay, these gloves are a pain in the, pain in the butt. Pardon the language. Really, they are. Um, I've picked one of the grabbing hands so she can hold her wand and I wanted to use the I love you hand. Uh, the gloves go on really, really tightly, so 
don't be afraid of you know giving the vinyl a good squish because this does bend um, and it's quite flexible but you need to you'll need to bend the fingers quite a bit to maneuver it into the glove um, I actually found it easier to take the wrist joint out maneuver the hand in and then stuff the wrist joint back in um, luckily the velcro sorry the gloves do up with uh, very thin velcro on the sides so that they can um, so that you can dress her a little bit more easily um, with so this is my first time owning a Volks doll with actual gloves I know they have released different dolls um, in the past with gloves and some were just like super stretchy spandex so you could slide them on these are almost like um, a pleathery type fabric so they have no stretch to them which is why uh, they have done the velcro in the past uh, with Cosmos who's down here um, they actually just sculpted like she comes with black hands without the fingernails so they actually look like a robotic hand and then because she has a piece of armor to cover the wrist joint she has a fabric sleeve on her arm and that's how they did um, the gloves for her uh, obviously because Sailor Moon doesn't have any wrist bracelets um, it would have been far too obvious if they had done painted gloves so and it could have been that the company that Bandai wanted actual physical removable gloves as well so there's that to think about so there we go I put the I did put the swivelly joints so she can she can rock on um, let's I'll put her wig on next and um, let me just open that up and get that on before we do the wig I wanted to put her little brooch on so this actually has like an interesting hinged uh, joint I don't know if you can see that on the camera um, but so this will actually fit around the bow quite nicely but again there's nothing really holding it in place it's just like a little bit of tension but looks good and let's get her wig next and if this is your first time with a Volks wig um, just be aware the first time there's a little plastic dangly bit that attaches the wig to the cardboard so you do need to cut that off don't pull because you can wreck your wig um, just you know come in here carefully cut the little plastic thingy try not to let it go flying and then carefully remove your wig so it comes in the wig net this is kind of pre-styled and we'll talk about hairstyling in a little bit this is a awesome sunshine yellow oh yeah here's the other part of the plastic thingy that held the wig together um, so just have a look at this wig style so they've actually done a very nice job with the part and her twin tails this is a bit of a mess um, before I put this on her, actually, I'm going to give this a quick detangler spray and excuse my reach guys. This is, this stuff is an absolute lifesaver. This is called Mane and Tail. It's their detangler spray. This is something um, cos I've used in cosplays once upon a time um, and I do use on almost all of my doll wigs and also when I... Um, when I'm wearing Lolita outfits and I have long wigs, this is a godsend. So you, pray, you spray this uh, ahead of time, work it through, and then even if you're out with your dolls on a, on a windy, windy day, the wigs will not turn into a big ratty bird's nest. So what I'm gonna do is kind of gather the tails together and aim away from my display case and just kind of mist that, turn it. And mist. So you see the up and down motion, right? That way you kind of get it evenly coated. And it's a little bit damp, but you just kind of work it through. So it helps to smooth some of the flyaways because it's damp, but it also helps to manage the tail. Ooh, what have I done? So I've kind of, we'll fix that in a second. So let's get her wig on. And we'll just kind of go front to back, give that a gentle push. 
and it's really well, how do I say, sculpted to her head. Um, let me have a look. Whoops, it looks a bit funny. And sorry, I'm gonna have to turn her so I can see what I'm doing. Oh yeah, that's a little high. Um, let's adjust that and get it centered. And all right, so let's talk about Dolphy Dream hairstyling basics. Um, there's a couple of things that every doll owner should have. And first thing, without spending any money, get yourself an extra toothbrush. A clean one, not one that you've used on your own teeth, because that's gross. Um, and if you get a baby one, like a baby toothbrush, it's even better because they tend to be even softer. And that way you can kind of gently just brush her bangs, uh, her fringe, um, and get them in place. If you notice that the her little tails in the front or her bangs need like, I don't know, a little bit of styling help, another awesome product. Two things, first, before you go spending money, get a tiny little spray bottle with a little bit of water. And sometimes that's, sometimes that really is all you need. Like earlier today with Serena, her friend were give, was giving me some trouble. I just sprayed it with a little bit of water. So put your hand between the, the curly bit or the hair, because you don't want to spray too much water on the face and just gently give that a mist and shape it with your fingers and let that dry. And sometimes that's all you need to, uh, to make it behave. If it doesn't, if that's not doing it and you don't want to uh, use any kind of heat styling implements, get the Volks water, water wax. This is called the water wax. And I kid you not, I've had this jar for about six years because um, you only need a tiny, tiny bit. And, oh, this is knocked on its side. So you can actually see how much I've used in the past six years, not much at all. So you just take a tiny bit on a finger and I guess we'll use her other tail here. And you just kind of gently rub that in. Oops, her little tails. And then there you go. Now you've got some nice sharp definition on her little tail. You can see that a little better now, right? And we'll just, I still have some on my fingers, so I'll just work it into this one as well. There you go. And sorry, I don't, I can't see exactly what I'm doing, so I'm doing my best. Um, there. If for some reason your tails do get tangled, something that Volks does sell on their website, but you can also get other places, is a tangle teaser. And I first started using this for my hair before I even knew that Volks was starting to um, promote these as a doll friendly item. And what it is, it's just a plastic brush with the little cover. And it is amazing on wigs, doll wigs, um, human size wigs. So you just kind of ease that through and then gently twist your tail back in shape because these, the curls in the twin tails are already uh, heat set in. All you need to do is give it a little bit of a twist and that'll maintain the tails. But that, if you have some flyaways that you want to kind of control, then sometimes giving the, the tails a little quick brushing helps. All right, so that was very basic wig care 101. What have I forgotten? I've forgotten her tiara. So I spent a few minutes getting her hair to a place where I was happy with it, and I've put her tiara on. Um, the tiara is a little bit fiddly, so there's a couple of ways you could do it. When you just slide it in, the way that it kind of just wants to naturally sit is it, it'll go into the side of her wig here and I actually don't recommend that because since her hair is pulled back so tight if you're going to be pulling it on and off all the time you could end up uh, permanently wrecking the style of your wig. So what I've done is actually stuffed it up underneath the head cap of the wig and that helps hold the tiara in place so you don't risk you know losing it or dropping it and that way it helps maintain your wig style. And it also helps give the bangs a little more poof because you know the they sit up over the tiara. Um, 
If you find that your bangs are a little bit too long and they're driving you nuts, you can use a little bit of water or a little bit of the water wax and a toothbrush and just kind of fiddle style them and see if you can get them uh, so that you can see Sailor Moon's eyes. If the bangs are still a little bit too long, like you know these wigs are all handmade, you, you can cut them, maybe not with scissors as big as this, um, but you can trim it. But I would suggest trying to style it first before cutting them because once you've cut the bangs, you can't. there's no going back from that. Uh, her little um, hair medallion hubcap things, they just slide in with a straight pin. And I had quite a bit of difficulty getting this one to stay. So hopefully this one is a little less problematic. And it just goes right into the center of her odango. Okay, that's staying. But bear in mind, because it's just a pin going straight into the bun, if you were to take this outside and she gets knocked over, it's really easy to drop these or lose these or break them. I mean, I already broke one of the things on her boots straight out of the straight out running. So just be mindful of that. If you're going to have her on display in your house, then you'll be okay. But if you're going to take her out, you know, just be careful. Um, so what did I talk about today that's I haven't mentioned before in my videos? Mane and tail. Awesome. Tangle teaser. Also awesome. You do not need to get this from Vogue. You can find this at Sephora. You can find this at the drugstore. Like in the UK, I've seen these at Boots. You can find these in the US at Walgreens. I've seen these at Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada. You don't need to get this specifically, for, specifically from Vogue. But the other reason I really wanted to get this video up for you guys is because starting yesterday, which is March 1st, Volks USA has started taking lottery applications for Sailor Moon. So if you're located in Canada, the US or Mexico and you missed out on the international lottery, you can enter on Volks USA's site. Their lottery is open until March 10th until 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So you figure out your time zones. But you have until March 10th to enter the lottery and then they'll announce their winners somewhere around March 16th. And if you've won, congratulations. And then you pay and then they'll ship it to you probably in June, I think, is what they announced on their website. You can check for their own details. But I'll put a link below so you can enter the lottery if you are so interested. Um, it's just a nice opportunity in case you missed out on the international lottery. The other thing, I am running out of daylight and I'm running out of time. I want to be able to show you this. I was able to get the Super Sailor Moon Transformation Outfit set. This I got off Volks International up couple weeks ago they had it um, it was like their DALPA stuff that you could just click add to cart and hopefully check out before it vanished out of your shopping cart um, this is also available for the lottery uh, on the lottery at Volks USA so if you want the doll and the outfit set it's a good chance to try to get the both of them together and I will hopefully get around to dressing Sailor Moon in this outfit to show it to you guys because this is a really beautiful outfit I really wanted this and you really can't have Sailor Moon without the Super Sailor Moon outfit as well. Um, I hope this was interesting. I hope this was informative. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.